Hi, ma'am. Excuse me. Hi. Did you notice Chewbacca this morning? I did not. Where was he? Chewbacca, the Wookiee right there. <laughs> no, I didn't see him. So I'm with the Wall Street Journal. I'm doing a video about people looking down at their cell phones instead of looking up. Guilty. Every morning here in San Francisco, hordes of commuters walk to their offices with their heads so engrossed in smartphone screens, they hardly notice they're stepping into traffic. It may have been funny when texters first started falling into fountains, but it isn't anymore. As smartphones have become more popular and more addictive, distracted pedestrians have gone from a joke to a serious problem. Over the last five years, emergency room visits by people who were glued to their phones in public places soared 124%. Some researchers now blame portable electronic gadgets on 10% of pedestrian injuries and a half dozen deaths per year. Most people recognize the problem, but think they're not guilty. Do you think you can really get away with multitasking? Enter Chewbacca, courageously played by my colleague Nate. He stood in this busy walkway while I waited in the wings to see whether texting pedestrians would even notice a famous Wookiee in their way. Did you notice Chewbacca this morning when you were walking? No. He's, he's right back there, the, the guy from Star Wars. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, did you notice Chewbacca? No, I didn't, sorry. No, I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't notice. Right over there. Oh, no, sorry. You didn't? No. Oh, I didn't notice him until now. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. No, I'm just getting to work, so I have to check my email before I go. Not everyone missed Chewie. Some even stopped to take a picture. Psychologists call this inattentional blindness. Using a clown on a unicycle, Western Washington University psychology professor Ira Hyman Jr. conducted a more scientific version of my Chewbacca test. Half of the undistracted pedestrians passing by saw the clown, but only a quarter of people talking on a phone did. There's also plenty of evidence that using a phone changes the way you walk, either by slowing you down as much as a third or veering you way off course. Even the strong-willed are susceptible to a buzzing gadget perfectly crafted to satisfy our brain's desire to find new things. But you don't need scientists or Chewbacca to tell you about how we're addicted to our phones. Just ask Manny, whose job it is to make sure your phone doesn't kill you. He guards the entrance to a San Francisco garage and stops cars from hitting pedestrians so engrossed in screens, they don't even notice they're stepping into traffic. In one hour last week, we saw 70 pedestrians who never looked up while walking past this dangerous intersection. Some were watching TV shows, many were grimacing while pounding out emails. Manny's advice? Look up from your device, be attentive to what your, your environment is and your surroundings. You've got to be aware of more than just simply the first two feet in front of you. Not everyone is going to always be able to resist looking at their phone. But if you do nothing else, put this thing away before you cross the street.